Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Don Godi. Like I promised you that we'll be taking a look at all the programs at the tertiary level and the job that you can learn after pursuing each of these programs. We are here to start it and today we will take the first lesson on biological sciences. But before I start, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so that you get the best when there is a new video. So remember, please stay with me and let's form a community here. And if you are you want to apply to any of the various social institutions in the country, you can DM me, give me an active WhatsApp chat. We will talk at business. I send the e voucher chat to you and help you in the application process. Possibly do it for you myself. And if you have the e voucher already, do not hesitate to DM me. I'll take you through the application process and do everything for you with an ease. Now let's get into the lesson. The first study is biological sciences. Biological sciences can be defined simply as the study of living organisms and their adaptation to the environment. And the biological sciences, there are other programs that you pursue at the tertiary level, which are biochemistry, evolutional biology, and microbiology. These are some of the areas that you would learn from. But my view, you studying from these particular areas of biological sciences doesn't mean that you go as deep as those that are offering biochemistry as a program on its own. You are just going to learn something small, small from these sites where you have to apply it to the living organisms. So now let's take a look at the requirements that you need to get before you can apply for biological sciences. So before you can apply for biological sciences, there are some requirements that you need to meet. And like if you are applying for a science-related program, your social studies is not considered as a subject. You have to use only your inter-science, your commerce, and your English in the application process. So you should make sure that you have a credit pass that is between A1 to C6 in each of these three subjects that I've mentioned in the areas of the core. But after having your credit pass, you should make sure that you meet the requirements for each of the universities. So now let's take a look at the electives. The electives, chemistry and biology are very paramount in this case because they are the backbone of biological sciences. Because they are by microbiology, they have um, biochemistry there and some other science related programs or health programs they just need to take and when you are studying biological sciences. So aside your biology and chemistry, you should do well in either your elective math or physics. For agri students, if you do well in your general agri, you can be considered because you also do chemistry, you also do physics, so you can add it and apply to study biological sciences in each of the universities that are offering this particular program. Now let's take a look at the cast off points. For KNUST, you need to have aggregate 12 or better. By better students, if you have something like 15, it's not so bad, you can also be admitted. If you want to apply to Lebron to come and read this particular program, which is University of Ghana, Lebron, you should have a great score of 24 or better. For UDS, it's also 24 or better. But if you don't know how to cut off points used in admitting students, let's check out the top here. The video is at the top here. Let's click on the link there and watch. Or better still, we watch the end screen. The link will be there. You click on it and watch how the cut off point is used in admitting students to the various different institutions in the country. Now let's take a look at the career opportunities after studying biological sciences. So after studying biological sciences, these are the areas that you can focus or these are the areas that you can land your job. You can either become a pharmacologist, biochemist, research assistant, a professor, microbiologist, or biotechnologist. And these are some few that have, have lifted out from the numerous opportunities that are available for you after studying this particular program at the university. So these are the few things that I've gathered that I would like to share with you under the biological sciences. But if you have any question beyond what I've stated in this video, do not hesitate to give me an active WhatsApp chat or a phone call or pick my email, send me an email, I'll respond as quick as possible. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel and turn on post notification bell to get in touch and more importantly, share this video with your friends. And if you want to apply to any of the regional social institutions in the country, I start a form so you can DM me, I'll give you the price and I'll do the application for you for free. 
for free, you will not pay a dime for it when you buy the e voucher for me. And if you have the e voucher already, you can contact me, give me the e voucher, I'll take do that packaging for you. You just have to pay a small token and we'll take it out from there. So, all my details are in the description box below. Just take through and link up with me. I'll see you in my, my next video.